All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. Uh, be sure you've already liked and subscribed uh, if you can. I appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Um, this video, I'm shooting to clear on the tailgate. This is just the very first coat, so you'll kind of see where it goes from a matte finish to a lot glossier finish. Uh, this is the nascent clear that I got. Matches the paint. And I figure I'd start with a tailgate. We typically have started with tailgate and then go to hood. Um, ended up doing three coats of clear. And I feel like it turned out pretty well. You'll, if you, if you can't wait any longer, you can skip to about the 13 minute mark of this video and see the finished product out in the sun. I kind of do a walk around of it and all that, but, um, I got a, got a lot more stuff coming with this truck. It's going to be pretty awesome when I'm done, hopefully. So I hope y'all stick around for that. And same, you, here you'll see, got the same gun I used for my base coat. Uh, I hear there's actual painters out there that have different guns. Uh, that would be nice, maybe someday. Uh, this is a 1.5 fluid tip, if you know what that means. If not, don't worry about it. Uh, I think it's probably the biggest one that I have. And... See me just shooting across here. You kind of see some masking tape. I, I was going to use the gloves again, but they filled up in that last video and was dripping water, and I really didn't want to drip any water into my clear coat. That's a a big no-no. Uh, so you can still see my masking tape around my wrist here where I just said we had taped those up. But I'll try not to make this too long on you today. And on to the top. Uh, it, it helps to have gorilla arms, be able to reach all that. And I, overall, I think the top maybe turned out the best out of the entire truck. Here we go. And it kind of, it, it, there's a little bit of what looks like some tiger striping here. Um, it, you could see it in the video, but it, it's not actually in, when you look at it in real life, out in the sunlight and all that, there's some rafters in the ceiling of that old dusty shop. And they, they basically showed through as soon as I sprayed the clear on. So also notice when, when this truck's kind of out in, out in the sunlight, it, it's almost like there's some purple pearl in the paint. It's really kind of a cool color i would i would definitely spray it on something again um i would rather have it just a little bit darker but uh it's not my truck so i would when it's done as it is it's going to look really well i think so y'all hang out i did i mentioned it before i got my uh raptor bed liner coming today uh i went ahead and bought some uh, Eastwood's rust encapsulator. I've got a video on that if you want to see it. Um, so I'm going to encapsulate those rusty spots of the bed before it gets any raptor liner on it. Uh, but I'll do a, I'll do a full video on that if y'all want to check it out. On to the roll pan, and I just kind of worked my way around the truck uh, counterclockwise. Some people go clockwise. Some people go the other way, but. I feel like every every one that I spray, I, maybe I can get a little bit better, and eventually I'll be a decent painter. But still, just a hobbyist. And I also wanted to mention we used just under a gallon of clear on the truck, uh, and those three coats. I think I may have a. Uh, a little over a pint left, unmixed, um, in case I need to do any touch-up work or whatever. Quick check here to see if I, how much is left of my gun. But Right 
right side of the bed. And I don't actually, have, I don't think I have very much more to tell about this one. We, after the second coat of clear, um, I actually kind of punched through um, some of my masking in the windshield, which there's no windshield in the truck right now. So I could open, pop those doors open and just shoot the jams. The jams got one, one coat of clear on them at the very end. Um, I know, you know, there's a thousand different ways of doing that. Professionals pull the doors all the way off, go all the way around them and all that. But, um, we weren't doing that with this job. They still look nice. It'd be a good driver quality truck and he can show it off to folks and, Everybody will like it, but if you've got any questions for me, leave them in the comments. Um, I'm going to probably go ahead and jump off here and show you all the finished result here in just a minute. So hang out. It's only about uh, two or three more minutes left of spraying. So.
right out in the sunshine. Trying to get back far enough where you can see it. Really not very many flaws. There are a couple. I'm not ashamed to say. If I was a body man, I might be upset about it, but I'm not. Overall, paint finish is really pretty good. Orange peels, just about right. There's a couple little spots that need buffed. The top turned out pretty nice. I was scared that it would look... There's a run. And a little run there in the clear. That's okay. Easy fix. Easy fix. Got the tailgate stuck back on. I'll try to get the taillights in it today. Uh, but yeah, this is just a quick first walk around. Next video you'll see it with tail lights, trim. I'll try to get the new wheels put on it. And eventually it's going to be lowered in the back too. And then we'll move. Got my bed liner ordered. Got to clean that stuff up. Get my rust kill on it. But Overall, pretty pleased. Body lines are nice. It could stand, whole truck could be buffed and look better, but I'm not sad about it. I'm gonna stick that uh, cow panel on. I guess I can do that right now. But yeah, glad how she turned out. got to get those ugly wheels off that hurts your feelings doesn't it truck look nice and the wheels look like they belong to the post office roll pan thank y'all for watching hope you hang around for next trip